Hi, I'm Jean Jo from Paris and Real Estate, and we have our shredding and e-waste recycling event coming up very soon. So this video is to help you to know what to expect if you've never been there before, and also know what to prepare for. Uh, and hopefully we'll be able to have a smooth event. We have over 100 people, 150 people signed up, which is really exciting. And I look forward to seeing all of you there. So let's get started. Well, the most important thing obviously is when and where. So that will be, um, our event will be on May 6th, Saturday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And uh, that will be at Mills High School in Millbury. Before you come, make sure that you register online if you haven't already and have your ticket readily available, whether you print it out or on your phone. Uh, we can actually look it up by name, but it's much faster if we have a QR code. So if you have that available, great. That would be, that will make things much easier for us. In terms of preparing for shredding, so first of all, uh, make sure to remove papers from any plastic binders or holders. File folders, like the Manila file folders and envelopes, um, paper clips, binder clips, staples, they do not need to be removed. So you don't have to go through trying to take all of those apart. It's just if you have those big, uh, very thick plastic binders and holders that can get stuck in the shredder. So we'll, we'll need you to remove that. Papers may be placed in cardboard boxes or trash bags. And any boxes that you bring, uh, they will be returned to you. So uh, we ask that you cooperate with us in that so that we don't have a lot of boxes just lying around afterward. Uh, please make sure you place all items in the back of your car where we can access them directly. And for electronic waste recycling, uh, here's a list of the acceptable items. We have hard drives, laptops, CPUs, computer screens, TVs, servers, etc. You can see that here. And on the website, when you register, it actually has this list again. No household appliances, so no toaster ovens or refrigerators, whatnot, or hazardous electronic waste can be accepted. So, no, um, so please make a note of that. And again, please place all items in the back of your car where we can access them directly. When you arrive, please stay in your car. We have a lot of people signed up and if people start getting out of their car and walking around too much, it can uh, be a little bit hazardous in terms of traffic. So as much as possible, we ask that you stay in your car. Our team members will scan your ticket and then ask if you're coming for shredding and or e-waste recycling. And then please follow directions to the proper lane and make sure to drive safely and just be alert through the whole time. In addition, do not unload items while waiting in line. Uh, when you reach the truck, that's when we'll ask you to pop up in your truck so that we can up unload your items for you. At this time, if you do want to get out of your car briefly to just make sure we know what we're taking, um, that would be great. But we do have uh, helpers there who will be helping to do all of the unloading for you. So you don't even need to really get out of your car uh, unless you really feel that you need to. After your items are unloaded, if you would like to stay and make sure your items go into the shredder, you're welcome to move forward and park your car and then wait. Uh, if you do that, please be mindful of other cars and people. As I said, there are a lot of people coming through and uh, we're, we're hopefully We've had no incidents thus far, and uh, but we've had some close calls in past years. So uh, please make sure to be mindful. And finally, we uh, really encourage everyone to support the Mills High Annual Fund. If you have committed to a donation, or even if you haven't, we'll have the donation boxes available at both truck sites. And we thank you in advance for supporting our schools. If you have any further questions, you can email them to me, jean at jeanjo.com. Or you can call me at 650-636-3147. Please note that we may not, we will not be able to answer calls once the event has started because I'm usually running around and uh, I try to look at my phone often, almost, it almost never fails. At the end of the event, I finally get to my phone and I've missed a call or two from people having questions. So if you're going to ask questions, please do, do so before. Otherwise, just come and ask, and I'd be try to, happy to try to help you. So that's it in terms of the introduction. We look forward to seeing you on May 6th and really excited to uh, be able to participate in this, uh, help in this community event to uh, help with uh, environment, uh, help everybody with cleaning out their homes, and also help raise money for Mills High School. See you on May 6th.